Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Lauren. I do random content on my channel whenever I can. And I'm back with another iceberg image video. And like I said last time in my previous iceberg video, I was going to tackle the miraculous iceberg. So that's what we're going to do today. First off, you're going to be seeing the characters in forms of memes because I had previously made a video last year talking about Miraculous and I had used clips from the show and it got copyright claimed so to avoid that I'm just going to be using stuff that's in the form of memes so there won't be any clips of the show really. Also I already have my next iceberg image video planned which is going to be talking about the killing stalking iceberg. This one is going to be an original iceberg image because nobody has made a killing stalking iceberg and this will be an original video also however it is highly unlikely that i will be able to have this ready before school starts because yeah school starts for me in like three weeks already or two weeks so once school starts for me i'm going to be more in a time crunch and i just want to put it out there that for my future iceberg videos it's going to take me much longer to get them ready so yeah, just putting that out there before we start this video. This video will be containing spoilers, so here is an official spoiler warning. If you haven't watched Miraculous, I would suggest you click off this video. Credit to Plague Nations who made this iceberg image on Reddit. And without further ado, let's get started with the video. Miraculous Ladybug mobile game. So this one actually isn't that deep. All it is is just a mobile game that you can get on Google Play or the Apple Store in which you play as your favorite Miraculous character and save Paris. Mayura. Mayura is the name given to Natalie and is the owner of the Peacock Miraculous. The powers and abilities that Mayura possesses are business intuition, hand-to-hand -hand combat, agility with Peacock Miraculous, telepathy, enhanced reflexes, and sentient monster control. However, because the Peacock Miraculous is damaged, it causes the user to feel worn out, tired, or even sick after using it. Ladybug Akumatized There have been two instances where either Ladybug or Marinette have been close to being akumatized, with one of the instances being when Lila had made a fake Ladybug in order to scare the people of Paris, and the second instance being when Hawk Moth had almost akumatized Marinette and she almost took off her earrings. The fake ladybug that Lila made is possibly the closest that we will ever get to seeing how ladybug would look if she was akumatized. Love triangle. I think this should be called a love square, but anyways, how this goes is that you have Kagami who likes Adrian, Adrian who likes ladybug, Marinette who is ladybug, likes adrian and then luca who likes marinette and it gets very confusing so on and so forth so here is a picture of how to explain this because it gets very confusing but no it baffles me how literally adrian and marinette have no idea that they are literally cat noir and ladybug and that trope is getting to me already that i am tired of it like how hard is it just to know you see the similarities, you shallow people! Julika and Luca are siblings. This has already been proven true, so I don't think this needs any more explanation on this. The two are actually twins, so yeah. Woo! Cancelled episode. The episode Gagotor was a planned episode of Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir. On August 6, 2019, Wilfred Payne confirmed on his Twitter that the episode was cancelled. This currently is the only publicly known episode of Miraculous that has been scrapped. More Miraculous Boxes There is currently a total of 36 known Miraculouses. 19 of them belong to the Chinese Miracle Box and are currently in Paris, France. Kuamis Kuamis are fairy-like abstract creatures that give certain power to people with miraculouses. 
transforming them into animal-themed super beings that appear in the French animated superhero series Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir. Season 4 episodes are not in order. According to someone on Reddit, it reads that because it is declared as a children's show, and Thomas Ostruck once said on a panel that because it is, the episodes don't come in order even though there is a chronological order because then kids don't feel like they missed that one important episode between the last and the current one, but can watch any episode they want to. This is also the reason that the German, Korean, and French version are in different order. Germany typically starting at episode 1 for the beginning, which is actually the real beginning, when in the show it was a season finale. It can also be due to the international licensing of the show. However, to be honest, since it is a kids show, I still think it could have gone with the chronological aspect because another kids show, Wings Club, did have the chronological aspect to it and it made much more sense because all the episodes were lined up one after another. And whenever the show released an episode, it was always in chronological order. Thomas Astruck Controversy Back in 2020, somebody on Twitter compiled a thread on why you shouldn't support the creator of Miraculous. The thread reads, Thomas Estruck is the creator of the Miraculous Ladybug series. His supporters are blind to his racist and misogynistic behavior and dismiss this due to their love of the show. In this thread, I will be showing receipts of his actions and why you should stop supporting him. The thread is pretty long, so I will be mentioning key points that were made in this Twitter thread. If you want to read the entire thing, I will link it down below in my description. Content warning, racism. In the episodes Kung Fu and Amanistro, one of the main characters, Chloe, is shown making racist remarks regarding Japanese culture. Chloe receives no repercussion for her actions and simply states her racist remarks without being told right from wrong. Here is the clip from the episode. Please, doesn't he know how to make sushi like everyone else? Listen, Marinette, if we don't sacrifice a few macarons now, Adrian will be eating sushi for the rest of his life. The person behind the Twitter thread actually called out the creator behind this, and his response to why he made the character say that was, quote unquote, because she's stupid, and argued that children should automatically understand what Chloe said was wrong. You can argue the fact that Chloe is a typical mean teenage girl, which is true. But my problem is that Chloe received absolutely no backlash from her statements. If the show was to actually deal with the concept of racism, there would have been a moral to the story. Or an instance where Chloe was punished or lectured. Not even the protagonist Marinette scolded Chloe on why what she said was wrong. Therefore, how are young and impressionable children supposed to know that this is discriminatory? Content warning, racism and pedophilia. This is the most disgusting piece of evidence of Thomas being a racist I have seen. In an official Miraculous Ladybug comic, Marinette, a 13 to 15 year old girl, is transformed naked, approaches a group of black men, and immediately assumes that they are looting. Here are a couple of pictures from the comic. Content warning, pedophilia. There is also an actual episode in which there's this guy who is an interviewer or a photographer and he's trying to get with Marinette who, by the way, is a minor. And last but not least, content warning, whitewashing, and racism. Examples of characters Alia and Nino being whitewashed once they transform into their superhero personas as well as fans arguing that the main character, Marinette, who is a half-Chinese girl, was designed to make her look more Caucasian. For the racism part, it reads, Let's not forget that Kagami is a literal walking stereotype of the quote-unquote dragon lady, the cold, cool-headed Asian who's too good for you. It also doesn't help that Kagami is seen as somewhat of an antagonist to Marinette and Adrian's relationship, to the point where fans make racial remarks about how Kagami looks as well as the time when a fan asked if there would ever be a hijab-wearing character, even just a background character, and he responded with, no, that would be too political. Like I stated before, the entire Twitter thread will be linked down in the description. Bridget Dupeng Chang Bridget was a made-up character by the fandom in the Ladybug PV. Her character is always Marinette Dupeng Chang. Bridget is currently not involved in the newer versions of Miraculous Ladybug as she was intended to be Marinette. 
So Bridget is the original version of Marinette back when the show was supposed to be an anime, Chat Blanc. Probably the most anticipated episode in Miraculous was the episode where Cat Noir gets akumatized and becomes Chat Blanc. In this particular episode, it is shown a look into the future of what would happen if Marinette and Adrian showed their identities. With Adrian finding his mother in a coma-like state at the bottom of Hawkmoth's lair, and then finding out that his father is revealed to be Hawkmoth himself. Hawkmoth then akumatizes Adrian, or Cat Noir, into Cat Blanc in order to get Ladybug's Miraculous. Felix was originally Adrian. In the source material for Miraculous, which was somewhat in an anime style version, the persona of the original version of Adrian was seen as a much more colder persona in somewhat of a stereotypical anime boy. In the modern day Miraculous, Felix is shown with the same characteristics, while Adrian is shown with a much more open and friendly persona. Scrapped anime version of Miraculous. We just talked about this one, but this one was also known as the Ladybug PV, a video that was leaked from Zagtoon's YouTube page. It was an anime style reel that was created to interest others in the series, and it eventually led into the CGI series Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir. First theme song. When searching this one up, I couldn't find much on it. All that popped up was the main theme song of the show that is in it to this day. So if anybody can find more on this, please put it down below in the comments. Special episodes. The Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir specials are significant episodes which feature important events. Despite them being different from standard episodes, they still follow and fit into a traditional season-based production order of episodes. One special is in season one and three specials are in season two. Additionally, two specials are in season three and one special in season four and eight standalone specials. Gabriel's wife is dead. This can be disproven because it's already shown that Adrian's mom is not dead, she's just in a coma-like state. Before the events of season one, Emily Auguste mysteriously disappeared. Later on, it was revealed that she is underneath the Agus mansion in the same room seen in quote-unquote Godzilla, inside something that resembles a coffin in which she appears to be in a coma-like state. Many fans have speculated on how Emily Agus could have ended up in that state, with many using the Peacock Miraculous as the main theory. Since the Peacock Miraculous is damaged, it causes the user of the Miraculous to feel worn out, tired, or even sick after using it. So many fans speculate that whenever they see Natalie using the Miraculous, she starts to feel very ill. So many fans have the theory that Emily could have used the Miraculous multiple times before she ended up in a coma. Felix's dad is dead. In a small clip of the show, Adrian makes a comment on how he didn't go to Felix's dad's funeral. It is completely unknown how Felix's dad died, but all I can say from that one clip, which I'm gonna show right now, is that Adrian has no chill whatsoever. Remember our shooting contests? I'm really sorry I didn't come to your dad's funeral. Adrianette is canon. Also known as the ship name for Marinette and Adrian, many fans already speculate that by the time the show ends, Adrian and Marinette will end up together. And all I have to say to that really is, how shallow can you two be? Literally, you two were in the same costume. How did you not recognize the resemblance? Oh my god! But to put it in more calmer terms, I think that's what's dragging the show. Well, at least in my opinion, that's what I think. Because, you know, fans are just waiting for that reveal to happen. But it's like, how long is it going to take until that happens, you know? Cataclysm can't actually kill. I feel like this can also be disproven because Cataclysm has the power to destroy indestructible objects such as Miraculous Tools and Miraculouses. It's also shown that Cat Noir can destroy an Akuma with Cataclysm, which an Akuma is actually a living butterfly. 
And then when the quote-unquote akumatized ladybug makes her appearance, it's shown that when Cat Noir activates Cataclysm and Ladybug takes his hand, puts it towards him, and the Cataclysm touches Cat Noir, he disintegrates into dust. And that's probably what it would do to an actual human being. It would cause the human to disintegrate into dust, somewhat like how Shigaraki's quirk works. Kuamis are older than the universe. Kuamis are extremely old, having been around before the pyramids were built. A story from the Miraculous Adventures comic book series reveals that Kuamis have existed since the beginning of time, forming whenever a new idea or emotion appears in the universe. Ladybug is the guardian. In the season 3 episode finale, Miracle Queen, Marinette becomes the new guardian after Fu relinquishes ownership of the Chinese miracle box to her. Natalie uses Broken Miraculous but is unaffected. This is also completely untrue as we see in the show that whenever Natalie uses the Peacock Miraculous to become Mayura, she always feels ill or weak after using it. So yeah, this theory or whatever is completely debunked. Cat Noir knows Marinette is Ladybug. The only instance where this has happened was in the episode Cat Blanc in which when Marinette, who is Ladybug, sneaks off a bit too slowly and Adrian catches her, he finds out that Marinette is Ladybug. I believe after that, he has no idea because, you know, Ladybug had to set everything right over there and use the Lucky Charm to reset everything. So, yeah, so this is basically debunked. Butterfly Miraculous Backstory the Butterfly Miraculous is connected to the Kuwami Nuru and has been worn by for many years. Whenever Nuru goes inside, it transforms the holder into a moth-themed superhero or supervillain, depending on the wearer's desire. It has the power to give any person superpowers and make them loyal to the wearer. It gives the holder the ability to sense the positive or negative emotions in order to locate who the exact person is. The Butterfly Miraculous also has telepathic powers. The holder is able to connect and communicate with the person telepathically through the mind. The jewel is currently owned by Hawk Moth, who is using it for evil. He creates supervillains in an attempt to capture Ladybug and Cat Noir's Miraculouses. However, there is a limit. Hawk Moth can only akumatize one villain at a time and has to wait a certain amount of time before creating another since he's corrupted two people on the same day. Shadow Moth Recently in Season 4 of Miraculous, Gabriel Auguste, who is Hawk Moth, mixed both the Butterfly Miraculous and the Peacock Miraculous together, creating Shadow Moth, Master Fu's Senti Monster. When it comes to the creation of a Senti Monster, usually that is manifested from a person's emotions by using the power of the Peacock Miraculous. The Dormant Senti Monster is a hungry frog-like Senti Monster manifested by Wang Fu when he previously used the Peacock Miraculous 172 years ago during his training to become a Guardian. During that time, while Fu was undergoing a Guardian training trial, he became hungry and used the Peacock Miraculous to manifest it with the intention of a companion to get him some food. Because of Fu's negative emotions, the Senti Monster was very different from what he envisioned and it began a rampage on the Guardian's temple, eating all of the miracle boxes and swallowing all of the Guardians in the process. While it chased Fu, who was trying to escape with the last miracle box, the Chinese miracle box, however, it fell into a pit filled with lava, being encased in molten rock for the next 172 years. Although this incident caused Fu to lose two Miraculouses and the Grimoire. Lila's Deadly Lie This probably doesn't have to do with any quote-unquote lie that Lila has made, but according to someone on DeviantArt who posted this in 2019, they come up with a good theory on why Lila may lie. So here's what the post reads. So first of all, this is just mere theories that I've gathered around so they might be true or not. So the only thing that I really want to know about Lila is why she lies so much about her life. Is it just for attention? Or did something bad happen before she got into Paris? So far, we've already met her mother in the episode Day of Heroes, 
and she seems like a very busy person. Couldn't it be one of the reasons that makes Lila lie so much? First of all, let's check on a list of things that Lila has said during the series. These are all the lies that Lila has made. Being the daughter of diplomats from Italy, it's not confirmed that they are really diplomats. Being friends with Jagged Stone, and he made a song for her, which is a lie. Being friends with Ladybug and Prince Ali, which is a lie. Prince Ali, fabulous he, Ali Traveling to Prince Ali's country, lie. Being Adrian's girlfriend, super lie. Knowing a lot of important movie directors, possibly a lie. Being a descendant of heroes, lie. And having an earring problem, super lie. Despite all the other lies she might have made during the series, I have a feeling she might get caught for good. I've managed to gather a few theories that might explain her behavior and also how she might get caught. Here are the theories about her behavior. Number one, she might have had a hard time moving to a new country. She leaves all of her friends behind and she has to make new friends. So to get new people's attention or anybody's attention in general, she makes up a few stories. However, it doesn't work. Number two, another thing to consider is that Lila's parents might have been busy for her, which made her feel lonely a lot in her life, causing her to make up stories to make others pay attention to her. I imagine she may have done this as a child, and she still continues to do it even into her teenage years. Number three, another theory that I had heard was that people think that Lila's parents might have been through a divorce, and that Lila doesn't accept a divorce, so what she does is make lies to get the attention that she desperately prays for since her parents are always busy. Hawkmoth was gonna kill Adrian. Now this hasn't been confirmed, but it is a big possibility that this could happen in which Hawkmoth would possibly kill his own son just to get his wife back. I think the biggest evidence of this possibly happening was through the episode Chat Blanc in which Hawkmoth akumatized his own son in order to get the miraculous to revive his wife but let's just be clear if Hawkmoth were to kill Adrian Emily would not stand for that if she came out of her coma with the miraculouses and find out that her son was killed in the process of reviving her by her own husband I think a divorce is in is gonna be filed right after this guardians get amnesia when they relinquish ownership of the box to somebody else. This can be proven true. As shown in one of the episodes when Master Fu relinquishes the ownership of the miracle box to Marinette or Ladybug, Master Fu loses his memories of having it as well as the memories of Miraculous's. Julika's stolen bike. I think this is a joke among the fandom because when searching this one up, mainly it surrounded how Julika needs to get her bike back and how, quote-unquote, Julika was going to use that bike to kidnap Kagami, and how Marinette better bring it back, and many stuff like that. So it's actually pretty funny, and somebody made the thing that there should be a new ship called Julika X Bike, which is kind of funny, but anyway, so yeah, that's that. Hawk Moth Akumatized Based on the events of The Collector, which is Season 2, Episode 1, Hawk Moth had to detransform in order to akumatize himself. As such, this suggests that a miraculous hero can't be akumatized in their transformed state. Of course, it also suggests that they can be akumatized in their civilian state though. So my final thoughts on this video have to be, this is the shortest iceberg image video I have made on this channel. And I really do hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it like I do with my other videos. Um, I am going to be working on the Killing Stalking Iceberg next, so I really do hope you guys look forward to that. However, I don't know when it's going to be out because I'm going to be starting school in about two weeks. So I'm going to be more in a time crunch, so it'll be harder for me to work on these videos. So please bear with me when that happens. I'll hopefully have it out sometime in August, but like I said, please bear with me because I'm going to be starting school. Anyways, I do really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Comment down below what else you guys want me to talk about on this channel. And I hope you guys have a great day or night depending on where you live. And I'll see you guys next time on my channel. Bye, guys! Bye.